Hi everyone, Rob, the Average Lawn Guy. Thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I level my Bermuda lawn. First, be warned, this is a project that will take almost the entire day and possibly will take two days. It is also very labor intensive. Some tools you will need is a rake with a flat end, a shovel, a wheelbarrow, and a wide brush broom. Although not required, you will need a level rake. This level rake is really multiple flat rakes in one and it makes the job go so much faster. Now the first thing you need to do is cut your lawn and not just cut it but you need to cut it really low as low as you can make it. If you can go below one inch I would advise you do so only because you want to work the material into the lawn and a low cut turf is much more easier to work with. The type of material you want to use is really dependent on your situation. If you want to use just pure sand to level, you can use play sand, you can use masonry sand, or any kind of fine sand free of debris. Whether you want to level or top dress your lawn, the process is the exact same thing. For my leveling project, I chose to use a compost mixture, which I got from a store called Supersod. It is a 70% sand and 30% compost and it's delivered right to my home. It comes in a large bag and is much less messier and I don't have to worry about it getting all over my driveway, at least not too much of it. When applying the leveling sand, I found it's easier to just load up the wheelbarrow and set up the mixture in multiple piles. How you apply the mixture is entirely up to you. Some people will just spread it by shovel. The most important thing to do is to make sure it's applied evenly. You will use the back end of the rake and spread it. After all the piles are broken down, you want to go back and forth with the back of the rake, or as I'm doing, with a level rake. As I said before, this rake makes short work of the project. It brings up any debris to the surface and distributes the level mix evenly. You have about 48 to 72 hours to work it in. You need to keep going back and forth to bring the grass blades up to the surface. Normally for most grass types, you want to apply a light layer to avoid killing your turf. With Bermuda lawns, as long as you have an actively growing Bermuda with very good sunlight, I felt okay to go a little heavy. Bermuda is what some people would call an alpha lawn. You see, the good thing about Bermuda it's very hard to kill. You can spray it with Roundup all day long, but you're not going to kill the entire lawn. I don't advise you to do it, but just giving you an example. My main goal is to make the grass blades rise to the surface. When I'm done, I use a fertilizer and I went a bit heavy with it. I used a Scott Turf Builder with just fertilizer in it. No bug control, pre-emergent or post-emergent, just straight fertilizer. Next thing you want to do is water the heck out of it. Just when you thought you watered enough, you want to keep watering it. I water the lawn every day for about 10 days straight. On the second day after it settled, I had some rain coming into my area and this definitely helped me water this in. You want to water it in to make everything settle to the ground. I also came back on the third day just to make sure everything was still there and leveled. Any minor spots that I felt was a little too high, I went over with a brush broom. So remember, whether you're top dressing your lawn or leveling it, you want to go and apply a little bit at a time. No more than half an inch max. I went a little heavy on the front lawn of my Bermuda only because that's my strongest area and it gets a lot of sunlight so I knew the Bermuda will push through. Now here are the results. 